picture biting into what seems like a harmless red fruit, only to have your mouth erupt in a blaze of fiery pain. What's really happening is not magic or a culinary prank, but a remarkable chemical interaction that tricks your body into feeling intense heat. In today's video, we'll uncover why chili peppers burn, how capsaicin hijacks our nerve receptors, the origins of the Scoville scale for measuring pepper heat, the body's surprising response to spice, and the quest for the world's hottest peppers. First up, why do chili peppers burn? The culprit is capsaicin, a fat-soluble compound concentrated in the pepper's placental tissue and seeds. TRPV1 stands for transient receptor potential vanilloid 1, a type of receptor found on sensory nerve cells. It is responsible for detecting and responding to various stimuli, such as heat, acid, and certain chemicals like capsaicin. When you bite into a hot pepper, capsaicin binds to the TRPV1 receptor nerve endings in your mouth. TRPV1 normally responds to actual heat, temperatures above 42 degrees Celsius, by allowing positively charged ions to flow to the nerve cell, depolarizing it and sending a pain signal to the brain. Capsaicin fools TRPV1 into opening even at room temperature, so your brain perceives the chemical burn as real heat, complete with tingling, stinging, and sweating. Next, let's talk about how we quantify that burn. Enter the Scoville Heat Unit, or SHU, invented in 1912 by pharmacist William Scoville. His original method, the Scoville Organoleptic Test, involved diluting pepper extract into sugar water until a panel of tasters could no longer detect heat. The number of dilutions required determined the SHU rating. A pure capsaicin sample rates at about 16 million SHU, whereas a bell pepper scores zero. While modern labs now use high-performance liquid chromatography, HPLC, to measure capsaicinoid concentration more accurately, Scoville ratings remain the popular benchmark for comparing pepper heat. But our bodies aren't passive victims of spice. They mount a chemical counterattack. When capsaicin activates TRPV1, it triggers the release of substance P and other neuropeptides that amplify the pain signal. Simultaneously, the body floods the system with endorphins, natural opiate peptides, to dampen the discomfort and produce a mild euphoria. This endorphin rush explains why some people become addicted to spicy foods, chasing that pleasurable high even as they chase ever hotter peppers. Speaking of hotter peppers, let's survey the heat champions. For years, the Carolina Reaper, bred by Smokin' Ed Curie in South Carolina, held the Guinness Book World Record with an average of 1.64 million SHU. Its monstrous heat and fruity flavor made it a sensation among spice enthusiasts and culinary daredevils alike. But in August 2023, Curie dethroned his own creation with Pepper X, officially clocked at an average of 2.693 million SHU by Guinness World Records. While some skeptics point out the lack of independent third-party testing, Pepper X's reputation is cemented by its extreme burn and the thrilling fear it instills in anyone brave enough to try it. Moving from record-setting feats to practical benefits, Capsaicin's potent effect on TRPV1 has found its way into medicine. Topical creams and patches containing high concentrations of capsaicin are used to treat chronic pain conditions like neuropathy, arthritis, and post-herpetic neuralgia. This repeated activation of TRPV1 leads to a refractory defunctionalization of nociceptive fibers, reducing the ability to transmit pain signals over time. In this context, what was once purely a source of culinary thrill becomes a tool for relief. Finally, let's consider why humans cultivate and consume such fiery fruits in the first place. Beyond the endorphin high, spicy foods have antimicrobial properties. Capsaicin can inhibit the growth of certain bacteria and fungi, making it a natural preservative in hot climates. Cultural preferences also play a huge role. Cuisines from Mexico to India to Thailand have embraced heat as a defining characteristic, weaving spice into rituals, celebrations, and daily meals. 
This global love affair with capsaicin has driven breeders and scientists to push the heat envelope further, ensuring that there will always be a new hottest pepper on the horizon. Whether you're a spice seeker or a science enthusiast, the world of capsaicin offers a thrilling glimpse into how chemistry, biology, and culture converge, one fiery bite at a time. Thanks for tuning in to explore the fascinating science behind spice. If you enjoyed this fiery journey, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more sizzling facts, and drop a comment below to let us know your favorite spicy food. Until next time, stay curious and keep your taste buds adventurous.